emotional wholeness and deliverance. What the Bible reveals to us is that man, that is every human person, is a tripart being, spirit, soul, and body. The soul is our mind, our will, and our emotions. It's, uh, it includes our thought, our reason, our imagination, our memories, our thinking patterns. All of this is, is part of the soul. In Psalm 27 verse 19 says, as in water, face reflects face. That means you see your real you, your reflection. So a man's heart reveals the man. A man's inner person is the real you. That's who you really are. Some of the sicknesses of the soul, what we would generally refer to as emotional problems or psychological problems. Things like uncontrolled temper, anger, hatred, depression, controlling fear. What are some of the life problems that we could talk about? First, they have, there are behavior and choices. Our behavior and choices are affected. Uh, there are people who may be having compulsive, addictive, sometimes impulsive, repetitive uh, behavior issues. Another area would be, of course, the emotional well-being. Our emotional well-being is affected. Um, you know, we live under fear or constant anxiety. Some of, you know, may go through serious bouts of depression. Uh, some could be living with a constant state of hopelessness or rejection. So our emotional life is affected. Another area that gets affected because of problems with the soul are relational problems. I mean, we just can't get along with people. And it can manifest in so many ways. Withdrawal. We don't want to be around people. Or, you know, we become dominating, controlling, sometimes manipulative. Sometimes we could even become violent and hurtful to other people. And, and now all of this, this, this relational problems, relationships, often stem from problems in the soul. Our life experiences, things that we actually experience in life. Uh, failure, recurring failure, debt, uh, unfaithfulness in marriage, divorce. These experiences in life many times have their root in an emotional issue. What are the causes of these problems in the soul? The first one that I would really put out there is wrong thinking, or you want to say wrong mindsets, wrong believing. So we need to guard our minds against wrong thinking. You know, these lies, these accusations, these intimidations we believe, they will actually cripple us. Wrong speaking or wrong words. See, words are powerful. God has put that throughout the Bible. And that's why, you know, almost every Sunday we keep reminding you, speak right words, make the declaration, say it. Words are so powerful. A third reason or a cause for emotional problems are, is continual deep-seated sin. First Peter 2 verse 11, Peter says, I beg you as sojourners and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against the soul. Fourth one is trauma and adverse experiences. You know, we all go through difficult situations in life. None of us are exempt from the challenges of life. Uh, there are problems. We all face them. Things, unexpected things happen. The fifth thing is this, that Involvement in occult and false religions opens up door to emotional problems. Number six, there are ancestral commitments and practices, meaning things which our forefathers would have done, which were actually rituals, prayers, consecrations, uh, dedications that they may have done to wrong gods and goddesses. I just want to quickly mention there's a difference between possession and oppression. A believer can never be possessed because in your spirit, the Holy Spirit resides. Christ lives in you. Possession means take full control. When something is oppressive, you know, you feel that you're, it's something bigger than you're controlling. Oppression. When something is recurring over and over. When something is unidentifiable, like you can't, you, you can't, like, I don't know why it's happening. When, when these are symptoms then you say okay it's very likely it's an evil spirit that's causing